Thank you. Um, so there's no way you'll be able to read this small writing, especially from way back there, but um, uh, we focused at our table on triage, and rather than focusing on where the triage happens, we wanted to focus on what the actual tool is that would happen, or that would be needed to make for good triage. So we see this as a tool that could be implemented as the script on the 2-on-1 line or a 1-800 line. It could be the content that an app pushes through. It could be generated as part of Clio's website. It could be a Service Ontario kiosk. We don't really care what the access point is. And in fact, we talked about it so that it could work in all of those access points. Um, so this is a, a map of the triage we would like to see happen. It starts with some threshold questions about what language people are comfortable working in and as a threshold question whether they're actually in Ontario and would provide some useful referrals to sites outside of Ontario when they're not. Assuming they get through those two questions, we then want to look at whether or not there is a fear or immediate um, safety issue, a fear of or an immediate safety issue, and right away do some off-ramping to police, CAS, shelters, uh, legal help for those kind of urgent and immediate legal issues. If someone gets past that question, so they're not in that immediate category, um, we've developed a slightly complicated algorithm that would ask people questions in three areas. One is about what stage uh, they're at. Whether it's early, are they contemplating separation, are they taking the first steps, are they already in the middle of it, are they reopening a custody question, sort of where are they in the process. Secondly, the details of the family itself. Are there children, is there property, are there mental health issues, are there overlapping legal issues like employment or immigration issues, what is the legal status of the relationship, is it common law, is it, are people married, um, substance abuse, etc. Those questions about the family itself. And then thirdly, details about the person, their financial capacity, other areas of support, where in the province they are, their demographics, religion, language, etc. Um, filtering those three categories of information together, uh, our triage tool would generate a tailor-made combination of process information, referrals to professional services, websites, depending on where they're at in that process, uh, links to resources, and an overview of the typical kinds of issues that people might face at the stage that they're at. Um, and then that um, tailored, generated sort of list would be delivered in a format that reflects the access point they came in at. So if they're on a 1-800 line, it would be someone who works their way through this and then says, I now have seven things to refer you to. Or if they did it on a website, it might produce a um, printout that has links to where you get that info sheet and a referral. If it's on an app, it might be that it becomes something interactive that you continue to work with. Um, or if it's in person, especially if it's in person and being uh, moderated by someone in a language that the person speaks, they might continue to help that person then call some of those or make an appointment, etc. Uh, we have a long list in orange here of the kinds of really specific referrals and process outputs that we think would come out of this, but a really key one um, would be an overview of the process itself. And so if you put in that you are at the early stage, that might be a fairly general overview of the kinds of things that come through in a typical family breakdown. If you were further on in the stage, it might start to be more detailed about what mediation looks like and when it can happen, where collaborative law fits in, what are, how, what are the differences in timing or complication at different parts of that process, uh, as well as the terminology and a map of how those fit together. One of the things we really talked a lot about is how to give the user tools as they continue to navigate different steps to feel less intimidated